Today, many Houstons are waking up to a makeshift shelter after the strongest storm in the United States in a decade hit Texas. Reporter Angela Ely is here to tell us more. Thanks, Mark. Hurricane Harvey has been downgraded from a Category 4 to a tropical storm, but that doesn't mean the damage is over. CNN takes us to southern Texas to show us the damage. What did you just go through back um, there? Hell. How much water is in your house? Their house is covered. Uh, you can see just uh, people are relieved to at least be to dry water. Uh, you can imagine just what they've gone through over the past uh, 12 hours. Okay. All right. All right, we got you. Don't worry. Don't worry. We got you. We got you. Don't worry. There's been no cell service since Thursday, Friday. Um, haven't gotten a hold of anybody. Um, if, uh, my mom and dad's watching. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm in Rockport. Okay, Dad, I love you. Uh, <laughs> it was over five feet in our house. We barely made it out. I'm just so grateful that they came. <laughs> it hurts because you see people work their lives to build something, and in one night it's all gone. For me, most of it is gone. I'll build back. I got a strong working parents that made me believe hard work will get you back. I'll get going. And it, it's just hard to see everything. It's gone. It's, everything is gone. We're going to try to see what we can salvage from the, from the wreck. Um. Airbnb is waiving listing fees and encouraging people to open their homes to the Harvey flood victims. GoFundMe created a page with all their verified Harvey flood campaigns. You Caring has raised over $2 million for the victims, and now FST News wants to help. For the rest of the week, FST News will collect money in third hour after our show and during both lunches for the American Red Cross. The American Red Cross helps those affected by disaster, and Texas needs help. 100% of donations will go to the American Red Cross, and you can also donate blood through Student Council by signing up for tomorrow's blood drive. In related news, the Foothill High School Bible Club is collecting socks for those in that for those in the Houston area. Think about how wet socks take so long to dry and they get annoying. Now imagine if that was your entire week. It makes sense to collect socks. After a devastating storm, anything helps. Keep watching FST News for more information about where you can drop off socks. Finally, any amount of money is helpful. Change, dollars, whatever you've got. Let's make Foothill a place to help the citizens of this country. Mark, Michaela, back to you.